What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and today's video is a answer to a question I got from a YouTube comment from YouTube user Dan Obscure. He said that I saw a guy use three mouse tools at a time, but he didn't remember where he saw it, and he asked me do I know how to use them. So in this video, I'm going to be answering that question to show you how to use three quickly accessible tools in Logic Pro. Now as you can see in my top left hand corner right here, I got two. So one is my pointer tool and the second one is my marquee tool. So to use your secondary tool, all you have to do is hold down the Apple key or the command key next to the space bar. And that will be your marquee tool. Obviously the first one is your main one and your secondary one is your command tool next to the space bar. But if we want to add that third, that third command tool in there, all you have to do is go to preferences, go to general, open up the editing tab, and go right mouse button, open shortcut menu. That's what a mine is on right now. You're gonna to wanna to change that to is assignable to a tool. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. And we're gonna go close this. So now when we hit a mouse, sorry, when we hit our right button on our mouse, we get this third tool over here, which is pre-programmed at the scissor tool. So if I can use my pointer tool as my main one, I could use my marquee tool as my secondary one, and then I could right click to cut for my third accessible tool. Now, how do you set your three tools? Well, it's very simple. You could go drop down this list and select, or you can simply hit escape on your keyboard, choose the one you want for your first one. In this case, I want the pointer tool. Choose the one you want for the second one. Let's say I want the mute tool. And let's say I want to use the third one. All you have to do is right click on the one you want for the third. So let's go ahead and choose the marquee tool. So now I can go ahead, Ooh, my second one I'm going to change to my mute tool. Again, hit escape, hold down the apple key and then click which one you want for the second tool. I want, uh, what did I say I wanted? I wanted the mute tool. So now my secondary one is in there. So now I got my main tools, the pointer tool. Hold down the command key next to the space bar is my mute tool. And then if I go ahead and right click on something, that is my marquee tool. So as you can see, working with three accessible tools makes your editing life and mixing life a lot quicker and a lot faster to quickly accessible, to quickly access all your tools that you need during your editing process. And definitely this is a powerhouse pro user tip uh, in logic that a lot of power powerhouses in engineering, mixing engineers use in logic, three accessible tools. There you go, Dan Obscure. There's your answer to how to use three accessible tools in Logic Pro. If you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. And if you have any other questions or ever wondered what to do in Logic Pro, you can ask me in the comment section below and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. For more of your grid videos, remember to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at amamusable.com and I will see you guys in the next video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.